severe thunderstorms will have a lasting effect on hundreds of University of Lynchburg students. The storm set back construction of a new dorm on campus set to open at the start of the semester. But as we first broke yesterday at six, the university does have a plan. 10 News reporter Taj Simmons tells us how one message from Lynchburg's president to Liberty's president helped find these students a place to live. It's hard to miss the construction going on at the University of Lynchburg if you take a trip around campus. University President Kenneth Guerin hoped this new residence hall would not miss its goal of opening on the first day of school. It's a gift for our students. The, gift, the students are important. That's what's important here. It's not, it's not the president, it's the students. When that goal became impossible because of weather-related construction delays, Lynchburg's Dean of Students, Kristen Cooper, had a backup plan. This old hotel owned by Liberty University. Our hope is that it's a short-term solution, but ultimately we don't want our students to move into a building that we do not feel exceeds our expectations. Earlier in the year, President Guerin texted Liberty University President Jerry Falwell Jr. about housing more than 200 Lynchburg students there in case of emergency. We have some students here, not a lot of them, but uh, can you take them? And so they said, send them over. They also said Lynchburg would not have to pay Liberty a single cent to do it. And it kind of blew me away, you know, somebody to offer you something for free, but, uh, but that's, that's part of the, the heritage that comes from, I, I think, from the environment. The old hotel is three miles from Lynchburg's campus, but Cooper says they will make sure students remain connected to the college. We are ensuring that they have student services over there with regards to meals. We have uh, a shuttle service that will go back and forth from campus to the off-campus facility. The new dorm will not open until at least late September. In the meantime, Lynchburg's displaced hornets will still have a hive to call home. In Lynchburg, Taj Timmons, 10 News, working for you.